Hi friends, today we will be learning about the immune prophylaxis of the uh, polio virus, okay, polio disease. So first let me tell you what polio virus. Okay, the three strains of the polio virus, uh, you will have type 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so, so um, briefly we will, I uh, will just tell you how this polio virus actually enters uh, the human being and causes disease. So disease caused by this polio virus is known as poliomyelitis. Okay. So this disease is mostly seen in human and it spreads from one person to another. Okay. And there is no intermediate, no other host or any other organism involved here. Okay. So it is from one human to other human. So it may spread through a patient. If this is a polio patient, he is infected and he may spread this to another person. Or uh, he may not be infected person, he may be just a carrier and he may spread to the another person. So in that way. So if a person is infected, okay, I'll just tell you how a person gets infected. If a person A is uh, suffering with poliomyelitis, okay, so he will release polio virus in his feces. Okay, this you will see in the initial days of the infection and after that also it continues. So uh, from the feces, if uh, there are some flies or somehow, okay, uh, if, if there is any food is contaminated with this fecal matter, so this will reach another person. Okay, this will reach a person B. And uh, in the person B, uh, it, will, it will get deposited in the thoracic, in this uh, neck region, what is the throat region. So, in the throat region during the early stages, during the early stages, so the virus may, uh, when the person cough, okay, when the person will cough, so with the help of the cough, the virus can spread to the another person, like person C. You see here that from person A, if person is infected from person A, the polar virus is uh, spread to the help of feces, okay, and with person B, and with the contaminated fecal matter, and uh, the and from the person B, in the early stages, you will see this uh, virus uh, is seen in the throat secretion. Okay, throat secretion is like cuff, sputum. Okay, through cuff and sputum and it may be transferred to the person C. So, in this whole way, the virus gets, gets uh, into the person's body. So, this was all the uh, source of infection. So, what happens if the person is suffering in the virus means clinical symptoms so clinical symptoms include person will become paralyzed okay so and let's see uh, who will suffer I mean what which kind of people are more prone to the paralysis first thing is if the lady is pregnant pregnant lady pregnant lady okay pregnant lady and uh, second thing is Uh, second thing is, suppose the virus enters the body, it is in the inactive stage. But if the, but if the person into which the virus enters is <coughs> has undergone tonsillectomy, that is his tonsils are removed. So this will affect more. Okay. Third is, if a person has some muscle trauma, okay, if his if his muscle is damaged, like if he has some uh, like some accident or something and his muscle got damaged so, uh, in that case and again if he's uh, what you say the virus enters the body so he will have more chances of more he's more prone to the paralysis so you see, you can say uh, trauma okay muscular trauma also on our briefly tell you that how that uh, virus is actually transmitted okay transmitted in the body so through contaminated food and water, contaminated uh, food and water, the virus enters the oral cavity. So uh, the virus will enter the oral cavity. It's like so from here, the virus enters the oral cavity. Okay, through the contaminated food and water in the oral cavity in this region nasopharynx ok in nasopharynx 
it will multiply okay after multiplying here it will uh, go to the paired patches paired patches of where do you see paired patches you will see in the small intestine how does it goes here what are paired patches this is a lymphoid lymphoid follicles so from nasopharynx it enters the lymphatic system here through the lymphatic system it goes to the paired patches so it was a lymphatic system okay again uh, from there it, it will uh, go to the regional lymph nodes regional lymph nodes they will multiply okay its number will increase it will multiply okay and from regional lymph node it goes to the blood stream blood stream how does it enter blood stream lymph film how does it enter blood stream through veins lymph will drain the veins so it will enter the blood stream okay and after blood when this virus enters the blood stream this is known as pri primary viremia primary viremia okay uh, after this again it will enter the lymphatics okay uh, and it will and multiply and then it will again reach the blood stream so when second time it is the blood stream it is known as secondary viremia and uh, uh, so from here the blood from the blood stream it through the help through the help of the peripheral nerves okay so it goes to the cns okay cns is like brain and spinal cord and there it will cause neurological lesions okay it will degenerate the nerve cells hmm? and uh, especially anterior horn nerve cells are affected so the anterior horn nerve cells are affected and this will lead to the flaccid paralysis okay so flaccid paralysis is seen and also let's see about the immune prophylaxis immune prophylaxis okay so uh, first thing is passive antibodies like There is no no use of giving any kind of antibodies to. Okay, so it is a very of little value. So what do you do? Is you have to be you have to follow the active immunity. An acting immunity that is like vaccination. Okay, how do you do vaccination? Is you can do by two things. Okay, either you can give and uh, in and uh, kill antigen or virus, or you can give and uh, inactivate it. virus or you can say attenuated attenuated virus okay so uh, inactive means is the virus is live okay it is just inactivated kill means the virus is killed okay kill this is a uh, sax vaccine okay this is sabins vaccine okay so we'll uh, discuss in detail about the sax vaccine its doses and and uh, like After how many days or months it is given? Okay, and what are its the benefits? And about similarly about the Sabin's vaccine. So uh, first about the uh, SARS killed killed the uh, vaccine. Okay. So this is for the all the type of. So here the virus is killed. Okay, and stored in formula. Okay. And its uh, its growth is done in monkey kidney culture. Okay, and it can be used for all three types of virus like type one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, let's see about this vaccine schedule. Yes, vaccine schedule. Okay, it is given in three doses. First dose. If you will take you know, three doses from birth, birth of the baby or the child. Okay, uh, so I will tell you first dose. When do you first doses? Like after six months of baby. Okay, after after six months after delivery, you can say. Okay, next second dose. Now second dose is given in seventh month. Next third dose 
it is given after like six to twelve months. Okay, I mean like after six to twelve months you can give this third dose. Hmm? Next, uh, uh, after this all the three dose for every like three to five years. Okay, you can give booster dose. And all this is given in the form of injection. Okay, so you call this as injectable polio vaccine. Injectable polio vaccine. Okay. So it is given injection, so it is also an IPV. Injectable polio vaccine. Okay. Next we will say about this uh, Savins life polio vaccine it is given orally so it is also known as OPV oral polio vaccine okay its growth is same monkey kidney culture okay uh, for this they say that uh, not for this they say that the one Dose is enough. One dose is enough. But still, they give two, uh, three. Still, they give three doses. Okay. What is the purpose of giving all three doses? It's like because it, uh, this dose con this virus uh, contains three types of vaccines. Three type uh, vaccine for three and three types of virus. One, two, and three. Okay. So all these three should multiply and they should produce an effect in immunoglobulins so they prefer giving three doses so we said that OPV in India generally consists of like type 1 virus it has some 10 lakhs okay. type 2 it has 2 lakhs and type 3 it has some 3 lakhs so this is the con content of one OPV dose So let me show you the difference between this IPV uh, SARC type and uh, OPV Sabin type. So here you see what type of virus he, you see it is ki killed, formalized. Okay, here life and attenuated. Attenuated in the sense inactivated. Okay. Next is what is the route of administration? You see here the route of administration. Here you give it subcutaneously or intramuscularly. Means injection, right? After this injection, so subcutaneous, intramuscularly, or systemic immunity is good. This is separateness intramuscularly, okay, and uh, it is, has a positive effect that uh, it is systemic imm immunity as well as the mu mu mucosal is little and moderate. But here, you will see the systemic immunity is good and mucosal is excellent. What is mucosal? It is here. Mucosal is intestinal, okay, so it will act on the intestinal membranes and it will uh, cause the release of the immunoglobulins, okay, so it will here it will provide only. Uh, subcutaneous in uh, here systemic immunity and mucosal will be less but here it will provide both okay systemic as well as mucosal next you see that here uh, mutations in reversal of the violence in the IPV injection type IPV injected polio vaccine uh, reverse is not known here there is a possible of the reversal okay Next, you see that key if other vaccines can interfere, like interference of the vaccine efficiency by enteric virus. Here, you can see no interference. The interference is possible. Okay, so this vaccine is more good than compared to this vaccine. But I will tell you later. This, but this vaccine, OPV, oral vaccine, is most preferred. This is most preferred. Okay. And here, when you see that key, if the patient is immunocompromised host patient it still this you can give this uh, injectable polio vaccine IPV but OPA should not be given okay next storage form is you can see this uh, it has a longer shelf life so it does not require any strict storage but here we got a strict, st uh, strict storage like sub zero temperature okay here the cost of the manufacture is high and here it is low this is like more affordable only. PV is more affordable okay and that's why we use this Oral, oral, oral polio vaccine but uh, oral polio vaccine is used more okay so before it more over the IPV okay injected polio vaccine so this is about this immunization immuno, uh, immuno prophylaxis of the polio vaccine
okay so thank you for watching any queries just put in the comment box thank you bye